Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, keeping an eye on the weather for right now, which is a lot quieter than what we saw just about 12 hours ago. We did have, again, some potential for some severe weather. Did have a couple of warnings. That was about all that we saw out across much of the Mid-South, so beyond that, we didn't get anything else of that nature. Some wind gusts on WeatherNet 3 that were a little bit on the breezy side, about maybe 50 miles per hour plus is our latest cold cold front rolled on through portions of the Mid-South, and that has been, again, about as much as we've gotten so far. We don't have any other severe weather threat for tonight, so good news on that, but we are going to be seeing, again, the potential for some minor showers in our forecast as we get into and around the area of about right after Thanksgiving. That's going to be about the worst of it all coming our direction there, and beyond that, we just really shouldn't see too much of any other problems out across much of the Mid-South as we go into the course of the next couple of days. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. If you're with us on Periscope and Twitter, welcome to the show. If you're just tuning in, we just brought in our Facebook crew, so everybody should be joining us on three different uh, channels there. <clears throat> if I can figure out how to get this on YouTube, we might try to expand this to a wider audience. We'll see how well that goes coming up in the course of the next couple of days. Might give that a try at some point. But in the meantime, again, not really too much going on. More of our forecast available here at WREG.com slash weather. Not too much to show you for the season evening in the way of earthquakes in the Mid-South area. We don't usually take a close look at this unless something big happens, but we haven't had a decent sized earthquake of, say, about 3.0 or larger in the last few weeks, so we have no earthquake information to report to you at this time, which given our nearness to the New Madrid Fault is not entirely such a bad thing, so not much to worry about there. Vaught-Hemingway Stadium lit up quite nicely for this evening. A few clouds drifting on through from the Crosby Hall construction cam from the Ole Miss campus and looking in and around the area of northern Mississippi. Things are much quieter, but it has been a little breezy out there. Got a few people strolling around the area close to the Student Union, which is under construction there, and looking like it's doing pretty well for right now. View from the Baptist DeSoto camera in South Haven. Looks like our camera has frozen once again, but uh, numbers, again, not doing too bad on travel for right now. I-55 and Goodman Road. Good visibility out there, so travelers not seeing too much of a major concern for the time being. Live camera from just outside the News Channel 3 studios, our tower cam, downtown West Memphis, Arkansas, the BASF plant there, I-55 travel on the bridge, looking pretty good, and a few hearty souls out on Big River Crossing tonight. A little bit on the brisk side for that, especially if you're not wearing anything in the way of a jacket or gloves. It's a decently chilly evening out across much of the Mid-South. Forgot to mention, if you've never been here before, forecast available in the blue bar here on the screen, scrolling on by, so if you can't stick around for the whole forecast, Yes, that's cool. We're glad to have you along. Anyway, Bozo Wolfolk, welcome to the show. Likewise, Bryant Hopper, thanks for stopping on by. Glad to have you along for the ride for tonight. Any questions about the forecast from anybody tuning in, drop them into the comment section. Give me your location, and if you've got a weather report, let's see that in there as well. Give us an idea as to what the thermometer outside the kitchen window looks like. Hilton East Memphis camera at I-240 in Poplar, looking at the Poplar overpass over there. Train going past on the railroad trestle and traffic on Park Avenue moving along well. And looking back toward the Quince Avenue overpass off close to the horizon, everything looks like it's going along pretty well. I believe that's Linfield right right there south of the uh, post office at Park Avenue right there and looking back over to around I-240 and Perkins, everything. Good visibility out there for tonight after that cold, dry air swept into the Mid-South. If you can't stick around for the whole forecast, here's a teaser as to what things are looking like for right now. Lower 50s into tomorrow, thanks to that colder air sweeping on through. Winds may be a trifle breezy early, early during the day, but after that, not expecting too much of a problem. Winds afterwards begin to switch back around to the south-southwest, and that'll bump our temperatures up by just a little bit out across much of the area. Burt Bishop, yes, very chilly out there, dropping temperatures. These numbers that we have, we'll show you to you on WeatherNet 3, they continue to fall across the Mid-South, and some of those have been, again, a little bit on the chilly side out across much of the area. Again, for the metro and areas south, we're just not picking up too much of anything in the way of rainfall right now. Uh, Candy Taylor Baker, the wind is going to be dying down, the rain. We may catch a speckle or two of rainfall, especially if you live over in northeast Mississippi and close 
close to the Tennessee River. It could be an echo of very light drizzle taking place, but not really seeing too much of any concern out there for rain. Most of the rain has gone back over to the east of us. You can see again the uh, current concern for rainfall anywhere between about Montgomery, Birmingham, Alabama, approaching Atlanta from the west, Knoxville getting a shower, it looks like Gatlinburg, Sevierville getting some activity there as well, and then back up into around the Appalachians, lots of rainfall and some gusty winds going on through there. Now the wind advisory that was in effect for the News Channel 3 viewing area, that is now currently gone. The wind advisory continues for Middle Tennessee and also Northern Alabama, and also for a very small portion of northern Mississippi. Those counties marked in the blue uh, will see some breezy conditions into the rest of the evening, but those will also be dying down into the rest of the night. Look at some of these numbers right here. Memphis International, that's almost tropical compared to what's going on throughout the rest of the Mid-South tonight. We've had temperatures in the mid to upper 70s across much of the Mid-South area, and that includes northeast Arkansas. Right now, some of those temperatures are 20 to 30 degrees where they below where they were just about two to four hours ago. So this was a very big and fairly powerful front that was rocketing its way on through portions of the Mid-South. And as of right now, things are, again, a lot cooler, but also a little bit breezy. We're seeing those winds keep on going at about maybe 5 to 10 miles an hour, picking up a 24-mile-per-hour wind gust from Memphis International earlier this evening. So continuing to see those breezy winds out there. By midnight, whatever chance we have in the way of moisture out there, going to be pretty much gone from the News Channel 3 County, so not much left over from that. And that's pretty much it for rainfall for the course of the next couple of days at least. Now tomorrow morning, heading off to church or Sunday school, you're definitely going to need a jacket. Metro area will be looking at temperatures in the lower 40s. Same thing for northern Mississippi, upper 30s as we go throughout the rest of the morning into around the rest of the Mid-South area. By about lunchtime, again, not doing too bad. Peak temperatures of the day will be about 20 to 25 degrees cooler than what they were today. So that's a major temperature shift as that colder air makes its way into the Mid-South area. Maureen Meeks, 52 degrees in Cordova. Thank you very much for that. Crystal Daniel Roberson, cold in Tate County. I can believe that. Temperature dropping. Brian Hopper from Toon, Tennessee. Thank you very much. Uh, for that report for this evening. And thanks to everybody for checking in on Facebook, Periscope, and Instagram for tonight. Or Facebook, let me see, Facebook, Twitter, Periscope. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Trying to get YouTube on here. It's kind of scrambling my brain a little bit. Trying to get all that set up so everybody can watch it once on several different sources. But haven't quite gotten everything taken care of just yet. Chilly tomorrow night. And temperatures by News Channel 3 at 10. Right after we get done with football and all the evening's entertainment on News Channel 3 and CBS. Could be back in the lower 30s by the time we start off Monday morning, and that includes the temperatures into the bus stop time for the kids, so that could be a bit of a problem there. Now, severe weather for tonight. Again, we did have a slight risk category earlier this evening. Right now, the only thing we have left over is this sliver of a marginal threat from eastern Kentucky down to northeastern Alabama, eastern parts of Tennessee, northwestern, extreme northwestern Georgia, and that really is about all that we've got in place for the area for severe weather. Everything for the Mid-South has basically come to a halt for right now. No chance of severe weather being seen throughout the rest of the evening, so definitely good news there. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to the 7-10 to 10 day forecast. Tomorrow, a little brisk, a little breezy in the morning, not doing too bad, and then fairly clear for the rest of the day. Cool tomorrow, about 10 degrees below normal, 20 degrees at least below where we were today out there. Mid to upper 50s as we head into Monday. Tuesday, about as typically November-ish as you can get for this time of the year. Back to around 60 for Tuesday. Brisk, dry, and not exactly breezy, but at least it'll be fairly nice. Dry cold front makes its way into the Mid-South as we go into around the Wednesday area or so, just before Thanksgiving. So we will see temperatures dropping a bit into the mid to upper 40s for Wednesday. Turkey Day, or whatever you're going to have to have thanks on Thanksgiving, whether it's vegan or otherwise, it's looking very nice out there with temperatures back in the lower 50s. few clouds, chilly in the morning, temperatures back in the lower 50s by the time everybody sits down to get the everything carved up. That looks pretty good. Shopping on Friday, no problem. Temperatures back in the upper 50s, chilly during the day. Uh, next chance of rainfall, that's going to be coming up as we go to around Saturday evening, and it's not that much of a chance. We're looking at about a 10% coverage chance at best, and that's going to be about it. Next weekend, as everybody heads back to wherever they came 
from. No problems at all. This time of the year, anywhere between the time you get from this area of the year into the calendar, we can have just any point in time, uh, late November, we can get some pretty nasty winter weather coming through. We can get some flash flooding rainfall. We can get some severe weather. Nothing like that happening at this time. So things are looking pretty nice as we go into the next few days. Now, one thing I did want to point out here, and this is kind of interesting as we go into around the course of the next few days. Notice the temperature right in, let's see if I can figure it out right there, right there for Tuesday. This is where it gets interesting. Tuesday of next week after Thanksgiving, there's indications that we may be looking at a very big cool down coming our direction. And that number I've got right there, that lower 40s that you see at this time, that's the optimistic kind of fudging toward the high side of the models. That's what we're looking at for cooler temperatures. There are a lot of computer models out there, and the reason I haven't gone with those is because we are just so far away into the future that it's going to be changing a lot. So this is what I'm more comfortable with putting on there as a temperature for right now. It's a very good possibility that we could see much cooler temperatures than that. So we could be looking at numbers by next Tuesday easily into around maybe the mid to upper 30s for high temperatures. So for those of you who have been wishing and waiting for those cooler temperatures, might just be on the way out this out into the next several days. So uh, that is something to keep an eye on, whether it goes up or down in the next 10 days. We'll let you know a little bit more about that. Uh, Danren Sykes, glad you're liking the drop in temperatures. We've got a big burst of that for today. Mike Lonius, bring on the cold temps. We can do that. 51 degrees in Tate County. Thank you very much. Crystal Daniel Roberson, 48 in cold water. Thank you very much for that weather report out there. Rest of the forecast, not looking too bad. We'll have an update coming up on News Channel 3 at 10. If you can't watch us on TV or get us on the internet, dial us up on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. We'll be glad to have you along for the ride. If there's anything here that you, we have missed or there's something on here you would like to see, please let us know. We would love to know more about what you would like to see on here so you keep coming back for more information. If you'd like to let me know, you can find me at any of these social media networks there listed over there, scrolling by in the red bar, or you can email me in that blue bar just up a little higher up the screen. You can email me at austin.onic at wreg.com, and we would love to know more about what you would like to see on here. If there's more climate data you want to see, more of the tropics, more satellite pictures, whatever it is, we can't do this without you, so let us know a little bit more about what's going on there. Tammy Gibson, snow coming in time soon for Memphis? No, not at this point in time. Way too uh, early for that. Not early in the sense that we would not see it at this time of the year. If conditions are right, we could, but typically this is not the time of the year for snow and anything in the forecast, we're just not picking up anything like that at this point. So uh, no snowfall expected at this point in time. So good news on that. Uh, Mike Lonius, yes, the Leonid meteor shower peaking tonight won't be what it once was back in the 19, I want to say 1966, the last meteor storm that happened, but but a good opportunity to get out and look for some meteors with that clearing sky for later on tonight. So please get a chance to head out there and look for some meteors if you have the ability to do so. We'll have more on your forecast coming up again on News Channel 3 at 10. Kristen Holloway will have more on your newscast. Mike Sadie will have a busy day in sports, including the Tigers at the Liberty Bowl. So stay tuned for more on that coming up in just a little while. That'll be at 10 o'clock tonight. And we'll have more coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak as well. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook. And more information coming your way with News Channel 3 on air and online.